Now, in Simulink, you can use a variety of languages to define your components. For the next few minutes, I'd like to share some recent investments we've been making to make bringing in a C and C++-based code into Simulink. We've studied various, the various kinds of code that you're bringing into Simulink, and like, I'd like to share some of the few that we're using as requirements for our design. You have verified components, components that are under, under development that perhaps your model needs to be protected against. You have auto-generated code that could have thousands of elements, interfacing elements uh, with Simulink. Um, and you have device drivers that have, often have different behavior for simulation and code generation, and link against target-specific libraries for code generation. In addition, when you're bringing in your C code, you are bringing in functions, data types, variables, as well as C++ classes. So over the past 20 or 25 years, Simulink has supported a vast number of um, technologies to bring in all of these different kinds of code. We've had S functions and S functions back, S function back technologies that allow you to bring rich components and algorithms. And we've had action languages in state flow and sim events, as well as MATLAB function and MATLAB system block that let you call these functions as utilities as part of your algorithms and charts. Our vision for this area is to let you bring in C and C++ code into Simulink as easily as you can with MATLAB and make that as seamless as possible and with full integration across your MBD workflows. First is what we're calling the just call my code mode. And in 18B, we're very excited to introduce the C caller block that vastly simplifies the way you can bring in C functions into, into Simulink. Here's an example of a simple, of a C function that we're bringing into Simulink. Uh, and as you can see, the interface types include C structures. Let's look at an existing model that we'd like to bring the C function into. It's as simple as configuring the C code dependencies on your configuration parameters window. When you drop in a C caller block and you pull up the dialog, you see that we parse the header automatically and we're able to bring in the functions that are being imported. When we select the function in the dialog, we automatically populate the list of interface elements that the function has. And you're able to configure this graphically right here in the dialog. We also bring in the interface types. In this case, it's the C structures that are mapped to Simulink buses uh, automatically. Now, you can see that when we configure the block, the ports are automatically created on the block. You hit the play button, and it simulates. You generate code, and you see that the, call, that, that the Simulink model calls into the C code directly. And all of this without any additional code to write. You're not writing an S function wrapper, or you're not writing TLC code to make this happen. This is all graphically configured, and if you, if you need to automate it, we have a command line interface. And we, our promise is to have efficient simulation as well as code, as well as code generation. The second strategy is to con continue to invest in S functions for advanced modeling. S functions, of course, support a rich set of semantics over the history of Simulink. Um, to continue to allow you to advance modeling, such as using continuous dynamics, multi-rate systems, simulating functions, um, and other paradigms, we're continuing to invest in S functions. An example of some recent investments that we've made is to add the S function checks in 17B to catch commonly made mistakes in S functions to allow you to write better and more robust S functions. The final part of our strategy is to, allow, is to support mistake proofing across the entire MBD workflow. The first step in this process is to provide edit time, navigation, and help while you're, while you're editing your model. In 18B, we're, ship, we're shipping the, this feature to support easy navigation to custom code right from your Simulink model. In addition, we've improved error reporting when, when you have incorrect, incorrect usages of the C functions in your Simulink model. Finally, we're also investing in our Simulink verification validation tools, such as Simulink Test, uh, Polyspace, as well as Code Coverage and Design Verifier. In, in 18B, we now support full code verification for your custom code, including line coverage and MCDC coverage.